Hey guys, if you're using Teachable to host your online courses, you need to watch this video. Today, I wanna to walk you through how my wife and I moved our over 100,000 students from the Teachable platform over to Thrivecart Learn. We're gonna cover why we did this, the entire planning, execution, and the results for you. And if by the end of this video, you're like, yes, I want to do this as well, you can go to unbeatabletech.com slash Thrivecart bonus, which is my free bonus offer if you use our affiliate link, which is in the description below. We are users of Thrivecart. We have processed well over a million dollars from the platform itself, and it's been a fantastic tool for us. In this video, if you're just kind of dabbling and thinking about it, I really think you're gonna love what you see and be ready to go and get started with Thrivecart. All right, let's waste no time and get right into it with the first question. Why did we decide to leave Teachable? Well, there are really a few things. The first one is the simplicity. The Thrivecart platform just takes one more piece out of the puzzle. There's one less integration, one less place for people to go to log in, one less place for our team to have to manage transactions, refunds, dealing with customer you know, issues and login issues, all that stuff. Also, because of that simplicity, it creates for us better scalability. Between Thrivecart and Teachable, you really can't compare the two when it comes to the ability to sell and grow the business because the Thrivecart platform offers better upsells and downsells and better analytics so you can actually scale your ads or whatever your traffic source is through your courses profitably. And even though our business is doing very well, we can't ignore the fact that we could save a significant amount of money every single month by switching over from Teachable to Thrivecart Learn. Teachable is a monthly fee. We're paying well over $100 per month on the platform. And with Thrivecart Learn, we were down to a one-time investment, which we pretty much already made, more on that in a second. And now we get to enjoy the entire course platform with unlimited students for nothing going forward. It's all done and we're invested. It's fantastic. And lastly, because we do have so many students and some of them are trying to launch their own online courses or small digital products, we wanted to make sure we could set an example and use a platform and show our students how we're using it in case they wanted to follow suit and follow our example. I pulled the screenshot from the Teachable website showing what their pricing plan is. If you wanted to get into Teachable, yes, you can get started for free, but they take a significant amount of your commissions whenever you make a sale, and there's like a lot of restrictions. You really wanna to get to that pro plan, which is $120 per month. That's a fair amount of money at whichever level you are, and to be honest with you, over the years we've used a Teachable platform, we really haven't seen them keep up so much in the areas where we want to see them improve, and so it made sense for us to go ahead and make the shift. So the next step is, how did we plan the move, all right? So we needed to decide what tools we needed for this job, and I'll share them with you right now. Obviously, we're gonna need Thrivecart Learn. We also needed the Plus version. If you already have a bunch of students, you're gonna want the Plus version because that allows you to import students from one course area to another. It's okay. It's like $195 to upgrade one time to get the Learn Plus, and then you're good to go here. Next, because Teachable did include video hosting, which is like actually storing all the video files to give to your students, Thrivecart didn't, so we needed to replace that, and we chose bunny.net for several reasons I won't get into in this video. There's a link down below in the description that tells you more about the video hosting options for your online courses, but we strongly believe that bunny.net is a fantastic choice. Next, because we had so many lessons and we wanted to make sure the formatting was okay, we found a way, and we'll show you here, um, how to convert all all the text lessons from the text in the Teachable course over to the HTML for Thrivecart Learn. Super easy, it sounds techy, it's not, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. Next, we needed a spreadsheet program, Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, it's all fine, simply to take that information from Teachable and move it over to Thrivecart. Finally, we need a lot of coffee because this was a bit of a daunting process. And yes, it's mindless work. So I was watching some office reruns while doing the work. All right. So let's cover the exact steps we do every step of the way. So transferring courses, we're going to be taking our teachable lessons one by one. We'll be downloading all the videos, all the files. I'll show you how this works. And then we'll be uploading those videos and you know PDFs, anything you might have over to bunny.net or whichever hosting provider you choose. Next, we're gonna transfer all the text, all the information from Teachable over to Thrivecart Learn. We'll be creating those lessons in Thrivecart as well, and we'll rinse and repeat choosing the next lesson. It sounds like a lot of work, and truth be told, it was, but it doesn't take a lot of time. You'll create a bit of a process, and it'll be pretty easy as you go forward. 
Now, if you've never done this before, if you've just uploaded your videos to Teachable, you might not know how to actually download them once again. So let me show you. You simply open up one of your lessons, you click on that video title right there where the arrow is, and then you'll be able to click on the dot, dot, dots and download the video file. From there, you've got it on your computer. So the next step is to go into bunny.net or whichever you choose and uh, create your course lessons, folders, whatever file structure you want, and simply drag those videos up into the new area. So now that we have the video stuff taken care of and maybe any files you might have, we're gonna to wanna to go and actually take the lesson contents, the text from the Teachable lesson over into the Thrivecart Learn lesson. And I found a nice little hack here. If you go to word to html.net, that's a free little tool where you can copy and paste everything exactly as it is in the Teachable uh, lesson and paste it in to Thrivecart as a little HTML block, which will look kind of like this. You go into your Thrivecart Learn lesson area you select a lesson you want to edit or create and then you'll probably do something kind of like this where we had a um, you know, video a headline of the, the lesson and then we chose an HTML block which allowed us to paste everything we got from word to html.net and then you're done you can kind of rinse and repeat the formatting you might want to tweak a little bit but if you've got a lot of content to move over I would say just go ahead and get the content over and adjust it over time when you make updates to your course and then depending on how many lessons and courses you have you're going to want to rinse and repeat and for us we had a lot so you know dozens of lessons in each one of these courses several different folders all kinds of good stuff it was a blast Ooh. so the next step here is to begin the transition once you've gone through all of your lessons all of your courses in teachable and you've moved them over to thrivecart again all your students are still in teachable you haven't touched any of that so now how do we begin that transition and there is a bit of a process we worked out i'll share that with you right now so we're going to talk about the fulfillment how you switch courses over from one platform to the other or remind you how to update all your links any funnels you might have set up how to make sure those are good to go we'll cover how we did our communication plan with our students and also we'll be showing you exactly how to transfer migrate export and import our students from platform to platform cool let's dive in so the first one is to update the fulfillment what I mean by that is when a sale happens today how are you fulfilling like what is where's the course area now this is very dependent on what your current structure is if you're selling through teachable then you're gonna need to just hold on and, and wait till we transfer the links but we for example we had Thrivecart for several years and we would buy in Thrivecart you know they would buy uh, a Thrivecart product and that would unlock a teachable course we set that integration up years ago um, but then you just want to make sure that right now you go through product by product inside of your shopping cart platform and make sure you update it now to the new Thrivecart Learn platform and select the course you just created in the previous phase. All right. Once you do that, you're going to want to make sure you update your links. So if you have sales pages or one time offer, special deals, anything like that, any place you're linking over to your checkout pages, you want to make sure that you are linking to your Thrivecart checkout pages. Um, I am kind of assuming you have checkout pages. So that might have been a mistake on my part. Uh, but if you don't, there's several videos I'll link down below about Thrivecart where you can learn how to make your own checkout page in Thrivecart. It's super easy. Oh, and by the way, it's included in our affiliate bonus. So hint, hint. Next, you don't want to forget your funnels. So oftentimes you might create a special page or a special link or a special coupon or something like that. And you don't want those to be broken when you transfer over to this new platform. So I want you to make sure you go through whether you use email marketing, uh, text message marketing, anything like that to sell your stuff, go and double check those links, double check the coupon codes you're using. Maybe uh, take a look at your past sales in whichever platform you're coming from, probably teachable and see you know, anything that might jog a memory of what you did in the past. There might be some issues. Don't worry. We'll cover that at the end of the video. I'm going to take a brief little pause here and remind you if you're getting value from this kind of rapid fire walkthrough of this amazing process, please like the video, subscribe it and share it with your friends because it helps me out a ton in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much in advance. All right, back to the content. So the next step in all this is to make sure you communicate with your list. So they're going to be getting some emails when you finally go through this migration process you're going to be giving these access emails to your students this happens all automatically when you import them into each lesson they should be a part of but it's important to kind of get ahead of that like you know 
don't control the narrative or else the narrative will control you, whatever people say. So you want to make sure that they are aware, you know, send a blast through your email provider saying, hey guys, thank you so much for being a student. We're going through to improve your experience by making things simpler, yada, yada, yada. But in the short term, you're going to be getting an email or two from me telling you how to access your new courses on the new platform. A quick note here, I would highly recommend you remind your existing students that by the way, you're not going to lose access to the course you currently are logging into. So if they're in Teachable and they're halfway through the course, don't worry, they're not gonna lose their progress or anything. They can always log in to their existing course. I'll show you how we can downgrade to the free plan of Teachable at the end of this entire process. All right, super cool. Now, a true story, as we were going through this migration process, my wife and I kind of got cold feet. We weren't sure if this was exactly the right thing to do. We were nervous about upsetting our students and our audience, so we decided to do a quick live. We went live on Facebook and YouTube to both of our audiences and said, hey guys, we're doing this, we're a little bit nervous, want to make sure that we're not making you guys upset, basically. So it's good to get out in front of it, and the response we received from our audience was fantastic. It really gave us that motivation to continue on, to simplify, and make our and their lives better. So make sure you communicate with your list. All right, so once the communication plan is done, it's time to actually go through the nuts and bolts of getting your students out of Teachable and into Thrivecart Learn, and here's how that process works. First, you're gonna wanna make sure you choose your Teachable course. You're gonna go one by one, like we did when we were creating those courses in Thrivecart. You're gonna choose the Teachable course. You're gonna select students. I'll show you how all this works with screenshots in just a second. You'll select the students from that course. You're gonna export the data from those students, get them all into a spreadsheet. We're gonna clean the data a little bit so the process works way faster, and we're gonna import every student into Thrivecart Learn course by course, okay? Sounds crazy, don't worry. You'll do it one time, it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay, I got you. All right, let's walk through it. So first, select the teachable courses. You just log into your school area, select a course, and that's it. Then you're gonna select this little button over here that says students. That's gonna filter down to all the existing students of that course. Once you get that list, I've you know blocked everything out for their privacy. There's a button at the top right that says export CSV. That's gonna get all their information out of Teachable into a spreadsheet that we can then work with, all right? So once you have that CSV pulled up, there's gonna be a bunch of files, a bunch of information, their address, their zip code, all kinds of crazy stuff that Thrivecart Learn doesn't really care about. It, it, it doesn't need that, that's too much, right? So what you can do here is I decided to do three things. I renamed, the first column is gonna say full name. I renamed that simply to name. I found that Thrivecart likes that format better and to make sure you don't lose any people's name when they move into the new platform. All right, so that's step one. Step two, delete all the columns except for name and email. Anything else, it's not gonna break the process, but it's gonna slow the process down. The more data you're giving to Thrivecart that it doesn't care about, it could slow down the import. So I found that when I went down to just column A and column B over here, the import went way faster. And lastly, you're gonna to wanna to save that file again as a CSV, so, and keep track of it, name it nicely if you have multiple courses to go through, and you're ready for the import. All right, so to import things into Thrivecart Learn, again, there's a process. You're gonna go into your student area of Thrivecart Learn, and down at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see a button that says Import Your Students. Simply click on that button, select the course that you want to import that list for. Remember, you're gonna have a list for every course. It's just easier that way. So you're gonna select the course you wanna import for, and then upload your CSV file, and then when you're done, your students are gonna get access to the course, they're gonna get those emails you already communicated to them about, and you're done. Whew, not too bad, right? Um, no, it, it, it's a lot, but it's worth it, all right? So there's one last step that I wanna make sure you're aware of, is kind of the finish up, the cleanup. I want you to make sure you're monitoring your students very carefully at this stage. I don't want you to just pretend like it's all done and walk away and go on a three week vacation. Watch your emails, there might be some confusion. We were honestly surprised. There was very little confusion across our 100,000 students. It was a very clean process, way cleaner than we thought it was going to be, but still, be aware of what might happen there. All right, next thing, I want you to monitor your Teachable activity. Are you still getting sales from Teachable? If so, where are those sales coming from? That's a hole you need to plug over time, right? Don't, don't stress out so much, it's not the end of the world, they still get access to their stuff, but I want you to simplify your life, so over time, move all of the links, any place where people might be getting in, any coupon codes, anything like that, move that over to the new system. And last thing, and this is important, is you don't actually have to delete your Teachable account. They have a free plan. You can downgrade any time and keep access to your students. 
quite frankly, we have not done that step yet because we're going to monitor for a little bit longer and we have our plan for several more months available anyways, but our plan is to downgrade to save that money, but also allow our students to have access to the courses they've, we've promised them lifetime access to and no problem at all. All right. So I hope you really enjoyed that. If you did and you got some, you're like, okay, I got this. You can always watch this video, share it with your friends, save it, put it to your bookmarks and come back to it. If you're ready to go and take that step and upgrade to Thrivecart and move over, saving about $120 per month from your existing plan, go ahead and go to unbeatabletech.com slash Thrivecart bonus. That will walk you through all the goodies that I'm giving away for free if you use our affiliate link. I didn't hold anything back in this video. This is exactly what we did and you guys can do it too. At this point now, we are like chill. We got through it. It was a bit of work. It took a few long nights and I've still got the, the bags under my eyes to prove it. But now we have one place to log in and manage our students, our transactions, our affiliate program. It's one place where we update our funnels and our sales pages, our upsells and downsells. And we can make more money because we have a better, more robust selling platform working for us. All right, I hope this is helpful. Please like this video, subscribe, share with your friends, all that cool stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.